shines in shimmers of diamonds and gold. By these sea men that brush up her curves with their wood in ships to step on her toes and to pull up her bushy skirt. To plant the seed of an unexpected child which became a heavy burden to her known as Yeah. 
God. And who are these human beings that claim to converse in heaven? And who are these finger-pointing saints that imply to be crowned with halos? And who are they to ordain themselves righteous and provoke faith and claim it? These so-called angels expect a righteous man at the expense of those that seek goodness and mercy on a daily basis. These wolves that you throw them with Ramsar, are the psalm in your ears or you claim God's word in your soul's arms and the set adoption of false guilt in your heart.
tears with words shaking from the tip of my trembling tongue. I'm sorry that those 380 kilometers defines our relationship and that space and time only allows us to see each other twice in a blue moon. And I'm sorry that you're not groomed into an ideal family household, nor was your soul sold together by both parents at once. I sacrificed my pen in paper before for your future several times, but my efforts were in vain and reality hanged them on the noose. I went to hell and back to conquer my demons, then to heaven to box with God and interrogate him about all of this. I've been fighting for you ever since you rested your finger in my open fist, ever since your smile could spell my name. But I never neglected you and you with responsibility. Your breathing aids me to straighten up my backbone, to hold on to my crumbling walls that reality is bashing down with my eyes, constantly drowning in an ocean of tears. My arms are longing to hug you for light years and break bread with your laughter that nurses our heart. I know when you would burn me with your cold shoulder from time to time, it is because you yearn to see my voice with your heart, to fill my eyes with your presence, to clutch unto my influence, to embrace me, chasing your growth, to feast on a father and son talk. I would sell my clothes to see you wrapped in the garments of happiness, give you my shoes to run after your ambitions. Life is constantly jabbing at me against the ropes, picking my hopes and wishes apart and turning them into dust. The day I figured out that I was labeled a useless father figure was when my pockets were seen as shallow as the puddles that exist on the surface of the sun. I feel like I'm failing you every day and I'm making you pay for my sins. I beat up my heart for it to beat with bleeding bruises. My sky keeps on collapsing onto my shoulders as my gravity is easily giving up on me. I wrestle with my eyes to keep them closed at night to sleep as your absent presence holds me every dream. I am tired of us chasing each other's shadows. Sometimes I feel taking a sip of death would quench your life's fast. What I want is to feed your soul with the essence of Make you feel through the hands of experience for you to hold on to wisdom. All I want is to guide you through this space called life to escape madness in its moment of clarity and suicide when it smells good to you. I give thanks to God for being there upon your arrival to hold you in my arms as you feel right at home and the opportunity to see your first footsteps kissing the ground when you're blossoming teeth painting your smile. All I ever wanted was to be that friend. Nourishes my seeds to mature and courage to touch the heavens. I hope this letter finds you well. Please take time to swallow these words and do not stomach them for my sake. But understand my mouth as it vomits emotions. I hope this letter will put you in my shoes to take in the sense of how every walk in life shakes me. I hope to make you proud of that you can tell tall tales about me to your children and to your children's children. I love you.